Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Owner and executive chef of the Marketplace, William Disson, is here with us. We are glad to have you. Yeah, happy to be here. Yeah, we're doing something kind of different today. We're talking about a delicate item that we all love, and also there's a way that we can get it at home much easier. Now, talk to me about this lobster. Sure. So uh, at the Marketplace, we are um, we're a partner with the Monterey Bay Aquarium and their Seafood Watch. So we try to do our best to advocate and promote for sustainable seafood. And uh, Maine Lobster is definitely one of those. So here in town, we have a resource, uh, the Lobster Club, which is uh, not a membership club, but a club where you can, uh, can join in and uh, get fresh live Maine lobster or, or frozen lobster tails. So you can get, get this great stuff just like I can at the restaurant. All right. That sounds good to me because I would like to serve this in my house. But unfortunately, I don't have a lot of recipes for lobster. So you're going to give us a great one today, right? Yeah. Today, we're going to do a butter poached lobster with uh, a little bit of acorn squash puree, some roasted cauliflower, and a citrus beurre blanc. All right, let's get started. That sounds complicated. Well, right here, um, I have uh, some wine and some citrus, so like lemon, orange, it's reduced with some shallot and garlic. And we've put a little bit of cream in there and cooked it down. Okay. And to finish the beurre blanc, we've got some butter. It's a little bit, little bit softened. We're just gonna fold that in there. They say butter makes it better, right? Um, that looks amazing. <laughs> And then we'll just take that off the heat and then just whisk in, whisk in the rest of that butter. It's low cal, I promise. Yeah, we weren't going to talk about that. And so this is what the French call a beurre blanc. Okay. So it just means a, a white butter sauce. White butter sauce. The lobster is like fatty, right? Exactly. <laughs> and then we're just going to add a little pinch of pepper and a little salt because everything needs to be seasoned. That's it. And so while this is finishing up here, I also have, uh, also have a pot. This is a little bit of, uh, of vegetable stock and butter. Where's it getting all the fragrance from? It smells really good. Well, there's just some vegetable stock and butter here, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of salt and pepper also. Okay. And we've taken some lobster tail that I've already cooked off here a little bit, and we're just going to kind of re-warm them through. Okay, so the lobster is already cooked at this point. I, I've already cooked it through, but if you were going to uh, cook it this way, you could also put the, lo the uh, raw lobster tail in here and just baste it with the butter and vegetable stock mixture, and it will cook through in about four or five minutes. Okay, so it's pretty so, quick. Yeah, pretty. Okay. Well, lobster, the nice thing about it is it cooks very quickly. Okay. So that's it. We're just going to kind of warm it through there. And then to finish up our dish here, uh, I've made a little bit of an acorn squash puree. So some local acorn squash that I've roasted off in the oven. Great for fall. Oh, great fall flavors. And then just uh, pureed it with a little bit of butter and salt and pepper. Okay. And again, we'll have all these recipes on our website. And so just to finish plating up, we're going to put a little bit of this on the plate. And the, the technical term for this is a schmear. So we're just going to kind of schmear <laughs> across there. Okay. I've always wondered what the technical <laughs> term is for that. <laughs> Uh, I've taken some uh, some cauliflower, roasted off in the oven, so 500 degree, really hot oven. Um, that caramelization of the sugars in the cauliflower really creates a really nice, nice rich flavor. Interesting. So we're just going to kind of put a couple of these decoratively on the plate here. And then we're going to take our lobster tail. And the lobster claw. A very careful presentation here. Looks beautiful. And then we'll take a little bit of our beurre blanc. And there you have it. Let's get you guys while he's finishing up. Look at that plate. Beautiful. All the information you need is right here. Go to our website at WLOS.com, click on Carolina Kitchen, or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville 28803. Of course, check us out on Pinterest, too. There you can find pictures and all the recipes. Look at that finished product. Absolutely go. gorgeous. Yum. Is that what we're having for lunch? It looks tasty to me. It certainly nice, does. Nice, fresh flavors of fall. Yeah, it looks beautiful. And again, you can get that lobster now sent to your house, be part of the club. That's right. Or you can go to the, the marketplace and get yourself a nice lobster meal when you guys have it on special. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me today. This was fun. It was fun. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.